What's up everybody? Quick video. We're just going to piggyback a little bit off Nordic Warrior and let you know that Alexander Usyk will destroy Anthony Joshua. This is a fight I would like to see more than any other fight in boxing right now that's not signed because well I'm sick and tired of the heavyweight division and all these fights not happening. All this talking and all these three kings, if you will, queens, scared of fighting each other. Or is it just Joshua that's afraid to fight anybody? Because them other two seem to have no problem finding each other. Anyway, I watched some of Usyk's supposedly bad performances at heavyweight. And I watched some of AJ's last few fights. And let me tell you guys, um, this isn't even a competitive fight. Usyk trashes this dude, man. But it's very, very intriguing because what happens if AJ lands? He's going to land. Usyk gets hit because he's aggressive. So as long as they're competing, Usyk is schooling this dude. No doubt in my mind. But... AJ could pull out a Hail Mary. It could be Pacquiao Marquez, right? Who knows? Maybe Usyk puts him down and then AJ comes back and puts Usyk down. I don't know. But skill-wise, looking at AJ and how awful he is at controlling distance, how awful he is moving backwards, fighting on the back foot, and how awful he is coming forward, the only thing he can do really, really well is stand there and exchange with you. Unless you're Fat Andy and you're knocking him out. Then he's not that great. The guy is extremely overrated. He's produced. He's a made champion. He's, he's not real. He's not a real one until he beats another real one. So let's find out if he's for real. I think a lot of his fights look suspect. I think a lot of his fights get waved off prematurely. A lot of his opponents seem afraid of hurting him for whatever reason. They don't seem to want to take it to him for whatever reason. But, and I'm going to do a film study on this eventually. Whether the fight happens or not, I'm making the film study, man. If he ducks, that'll explain to you why he ducked. But if AJ fights, just a quick breakdown, all right? If AJ fights the way he fought, Ruiz in the second fight. He's food. Usyk will triple G his ass. If AJ wants to get on his toes and bounce around that ring with that pity patter jab that has nothing on it, Usyk is going to walk through him. Because AJ, when he's dancing around, there's no power on his jab. His hook is extremely wide and inaccurate. And there's no right hand to speak of. He has to have his feet set. So if he starts moving his feet, Usyk's better footwork is going to get to him. And he's going to pound through him. He's going to knock him out. If AJ decides to come forward against Usyk, Usyk is going to walk him into counters. He's going to pick him off and he's going to destroy him. Knock him out. Look at AJ coming forward. Not standing in the middle of the ring and trading. No, 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 no. Coming forward when he had Pulev hurt. Look how difficult it was for him to get Pulev out when Pulev was already out on his feet and defenseless, basically. All he could do is kind of keep his hands up while giving AJ the uppercut. AJ couldn't really even put him down, really. Eventually he did, but coming forward, he looked sloppy, ragged, slow. He gassed really quickly. If he tries to come forward against Dusik, he gasses. He walks into hard counters. He gets out-jabbed. He gets knocked out. He gets stopped. Now, if he stands in the middle of the ring and tries to counter Usyk on the way in, holding his ground, that's going to be interesting. But in my opinion, Usyk's su superior footwork and lateral movement is going to give him fits. He's going to dance around this dude. He's going to get the angle on him and he's going to pound him out of there. But that's AJ's best chance of catching Usyk, planting his feet, and looking to catch Usyk on the way in. Not coming forward, 
because he's food if he does that. Not going backwards because he's food if he does that. Standing his ground in the middle of the ring trying to catch him. And that's just not something he's been willing to do as of late. Anthony Joshua tries to be a fancy Dan. He, he tries to box with everybody, even though he really can't. With some of these guys, he can, but he's really not that good. His jab is weak. It's inaccurate. There's no conviction behind the jab. And if he commits to the jab, he's wide open for the counter. He, he gets himself off balance a lot when he throws his jab. He leans into his opponent with his hands down when he throws the body jab. He's right there for the counter, left, right, whatever. To me, taking politics out of this, Usyk is at least a 3-1 to one favorite going into this fight. To me. Because I can't see a scenario other than AJ walking Usyk into some really hard punch and knocking him out. Or hurting him and then following up and knocking him out. I can't see a scenario how he wins. And I've never seen Usyk hurt. I've never seen Usyk walk into perfect counter right hands from anybody. I've seen him hurt with some really good right hands, but he saw all of them. And he was able to react or at least brace himself. And this idea that AJ is just going to, like these breakdowns, that AJ is just, all he has to do is hit him, as if Usyk wasn't in there trying to hit him too. These, these deluded breaks, breakdowns of this fight, they make me scratch my head, man. It, like, hey, if Usyk is such easy work, make the damn fight. But in my opinion, if this fight happens next, okay? Not when Usyk is 40 years old. Next. Usyk absolutely mollywops Anthony and Joshua. But it's not like I didn't tell you that many, many years ago already, is it? Make the damn fight already. Can't wait to see it. But I'm not, I'm not counting Joshua out at all, okay? Because he has a serious puncher's chance. And that's what makes the fight interesting. Can Usyk avoid that right hand enough and put enough damage on Joshua where he breaks him down to the body and the head, but mostly to the body, breaks him down and stops him due to exhaustion? And if Usyk is able to land a two or a three-piece... Don't be surprised if AJ doesn't get up. Whether he quits or not, hey, anything's possible. But if he can't knock Usyk out, stop him in his tracks, Usyk is going to take that heart and rip it out of AJ's chest. Let's get the fight, Eddie. How about it? Thanks for watching.